Hello everyone, Marilyn here. Welcome to my channel. I have today a second video tutorial using the February 2017 limited edition kit by my creative scrapbook. I have been uh, sick with the flu and <laughs> my voice, yeah, it wasn't good. So uh, I have to wait until now that I'm a little better to uh, record uh, my voice in this video. So I hope you enjoy. This is a page that I made and um, is a uh, has mixed media but it's a uh, more simple uh less complicated so uh for all of you that ask me for a page like this so here it is hope you enjoy i cut out um, butterflies and some images from this paper but i choose the moment paper by the elegy collection this is from scrapberry that it's featuring this month in the kit and I have now a hard uh, paper. It, this is similar to the toilet paper. I was trying to use it like a stencil, but it doesn't work. So I am um, apply gesso around the hard shape. Okay, I'm adding. Uh, I continue adding gesso around the hard shape, and uh, at the same time, I prepare the paper. It, it is act like a primer but i don't have uh nothing ex specific on my mind at this moment so i will continue doing this let's see what happens okay i will let you with music Okay, I think that is okay with the paper. I will let it dry, but meanwhile, I am take the shift board. It is a corner, and this shift board is from Blue Fern Studio. It comes in the kit, and I am giving uh, two coats of gesso. Okay, now I will let dry the shift board. I'm going back to my page. I use these stamps. These are from Prima, from my stuff. And I'm going to uh, to add textures with a stamp uh, around all the heart shape here, giving uh, some layers and textures. Okay, I mix modeling paste with uh, gesso. You will see that I already made the mix in my mat. And I'm using the stencil from the kit to uh, give, uh, to add textures uh, with the modeling paste and the stencil, but not in all the area and just in some, pl some a few places. I don't want to cover all the stamp work. Only add, uh, this texture and shape uh, on the background. Okay, I paint now the chipboard with the color mist from the kit. Okay, now with the nozzle, I am making uh, paint splatters over all the area. I want to create many, many, many layers of, of pain and textures. Uh, you know me, I love uh, many textures uh, on the background. And now I'm using a paper towel to remove uh, the excess of the pain. 
and it will make a uh, lighter the color of the paint. Okay, now I cut two, stri two stripes of the cheesecloth. It is about uh, one and a half inch wide, I think, mm, less or more. And now I'm using my Distress Ink to paint it. I'm using uh, some uh, two colors. I will let you on my blog uh, the list of uh, names of the supplies that I'm using. Now you see that it looks uh, like a red or orange color, something like that, and I don't like it. I, I want uh, something similar to the red of the paper, so I'm adding uh, a dark color to achieve this, uh, this red tone. You will see. Okay, now I'm going to glue uh, the cheesecloth uh, following uh, the heart shape. And now I'm going to make a mat for my photo. My beautiful models are Elvira and her daughter. I met her in, her in one of my workshops. She is from Costa Rica, very sweet lady. Thanks, Elvira. Now I'm, um, I'm going to adhere all the elements, uh, like the shipboard, the photo, once I know that where I want uh, to place everything, I'm using a piece of a uh, cardboard to create dimension on my photo. And here I'm going, I will start to uh, adhere all the elements. I will let you with music now. Okay, now I'm, I decided to uh, add a little of gesso to the gray sheet board because uh, I think that the page has too many grays, so I'm adding a little of white. Okay, I have this uh, strip uh, that I cut from the paper. It's, it looks like a lace, and I'm making some cuts in this area because I want to give shape to the paper. Uh, it's easier if you make some cuts and start to uh, manipulate the paper in that way. You will see now, I will let you with music.
Okay, I'm going to play now with the flowers. Not sure how I want to place uh, them on my page. These flowers are from Blue Fern Studio. And jumps going uh, to play around here. And once I love how it looks, you will see that I will uh, take my glue and adhere the flowers. Well, for the moment, I will let you with music, okay? Okay, now I'm taking my Sharpie, my marker, to uh, enhance or to paint all the stencil work on the background. Yeah, with this I will enhance all the sugars and it creates uh, different textures and dimension on the background. Now I'm making some white paint splatters over all the area. Okay, I'm adding uh, gesso to the uh, red roses and the small one and the pink. I'm, I'm using now the tea ruler to align uh, my title, the sweet word. Well, I, I am taking another uh, strip of paper uh, with a lace design and I am making the same cuts to uh, manipulate the paper and to make another layer uh, behind the heart I am manip manipulating the paper to create the heart shape and you know me I love uh, layers <laughs> I'm just add uh, another one and I think that I love how it looks yeah it looks pretty so uh, I'm going to uh, adhere everything here. Okay, now I'm going to add the all the pieces that I already cut. Do you remember the the paper that I showed you at the beginning of this video? Well, I cut out all these images from that paper, and I'm going to start adhering here and there. Well, you see, magic! I already uh, glue everything, the butterflies. And now I'm adding some art stone to create more textures. And let me tell you that I'm, ad I'm, I'm using the tacky glue to adhere the, the art stone uh, works, uh, works great. So you can try uh, using the tacky glue to adhere this. And I'm going to continue uh, adhering. Okay, you see now here, you see around the heart all the di the dimension that it's that I create with the art stone. Well, I decided to add a little of color to the art stone, so I'm taking my gelato <coughs> and I'm dilu dilu uh, oh oops, <laughs> I'm blending the color with water and white paint to create a like a pink color so I'm going to uh, to paint some of the stones here and there and here you can see the final result you can see here all the dimensions uh, that I create look that this art stone look like a, a light pink it's not too dark but uh, you can notice better all the layers now with the paint once that I painted. Anyway, I hope that you like this video. It is not as complicated as the, my first project for this kit. And as, all, as always, I will let you the link 
to get this kit in the description box below and I will let you uh, my other social media links in case that you want to see uh, more of my work and I hope that you enjoy this video and please if you like it don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I see you soon with another video tutorial nos vemos bye bye